Hello. Today we are going to mention the interpretability of logistic regression algorithm on a real world dataset and we will work on iris dataset in this video. Luckily, scikit-learn API provides ready to use iris dataset. I'm going to import from scikit-learn.datasets and import load iris. I'm going to call load iris function and let's see its expected inputs. Here I'm going to set return x and y argument to true and this will return my x and y values. Here the both x and y values are numpy arrays but I would like to store the data set as pandas data frame that's why I'm going to import pandas first here pandas data frame is equal to pandas dot data frame and here I'm going to pass the input x values as input and also specify the feature names as seen there are four different features here here feature names are sepal length and sepal width those are the bottom leaves and then petal length and petal width and here i'm going to create the data frame i will also define the target column with y let's see the content of the data frame there are three different iris classes we can check it just like that get target column of the data frame and get its unique values as seen it could be 0 1 and 2 if the target column is equal to 0 then it's going to be iris statusa if it's equal to 1 then it's going to be iris versicolor and finally if it's equal to 2 then it's going to be virginica there are three different classes for iris dataset i would like to explain the logistic regression algorithm for a binary classification task that's why i'm going to ignore the virginica classes in the raw data frame data frame is equal to data frame and get data frames target column when it's not equal to 2 in this way i can ignore the virginica classes let's call this line again actually number of unique should be 2 yes it's a binary classification task here feature values have same units i mean that all features represents uh, top and uh, down leaves in centimeters i can get rid of uh, the unit if i divide each column with its standard deviation value that's why here i'm going to normalize inputs let's build a for loop for i in feature names and let's print the feature name first then get uh, that feature name and divide it with the standard deviation value let's call this block again and print the data frame again as seen all columns are normalized and we have no units for now now it's time to modeling that's why here i'm going to import from scikit learns linear model and import logistic regression model is going to be logistic regression and let's check its input arguments 
I'm going to set the random state to, for example, zero. Then I'm going to call fit function and here I'm going to pass the input features and target values. Data frames, feature names, column returns the uh, input features of my data set and I will get its uh, values to get it as numpy array and also data frames target column is going to be my target again I'm going to call that values to get it as a numpy array model was built we can evaluate the build model with model dot score function here we should pass the input features and target column as well as seen it returns 100% it could be maximum one because it has a hundred percent accuracy let's focus on the logistic regression equation let's remember the equation first here z is equal to w0 that's a bias term and w1 times x1 plus w2 times x2 plus w3 times x3 and finally w4 times x4 this is the z term and the prediction y is equal to 1 over 1 plus e to the power of minus z i can retrieve that equation uh, in the module module dot intercept is w0 actually let's see it i net it's zero index value it was minus 4.5 besides the weight values from w1 to w4 can be retrieved with model dot coefficients as seen it returns an array consisting of four items i need at zero index value again and it's going to be w1 w2 w3 and finally w4 let's print those weights here let's make a prediction based on those intercept and coefficients for example let's get the 99 index item in the data set data frame dot i lock and pass the index here get its features and get its values actually i actually need to reshape this one with one and minus one and it's going to be my x values and here y is equal to model dot predict probabilities predict proba and here i'm going to pass the x values and let's print the y here i actually need the zero index values here uh, if the uh, second item is greater than the first one then the prediction is one that's why uh, this prediction is one i need that's one index value this is the prediction and i also can print the actual value here i'm going to get uh, df dot i look 99 index value and get its target value here actual value was one as well the question is that how this 0 0.98 value was calculated actually it's all based on those intercept and coefficients i actually need data frame that i look and pass id x value to get a row then pass feature names here 
actually feature names get its zero index value get its one index value two index value and three index value then i'm going to multiply those feature values with weights it's going to be w1 w2 w3 and finally w4 but here i need to add the bias term w0 this is the z term actually i need to find the sigmoid value for this z value i'm going to create a sigmoid function here and it expects z as input and it will return 1 over 1 plus e to the power of minus z that's why uh, call power function and pass met.e at minus z as input but here i need to import met library let's check the results of sigmoid and pass z as input it's uh, exactly the same result with the model.predict function now let's focus on the interpretability or explainable ai let's create a w variable and w1 w2 w3 and w4 are its items and it's a python list create a feature importance data frame pandas dot data frame and pass feature names as input and uh, this column is going to be called feature and i'm going to add uh, another column and it's going to be importance and here i'm going to call power function and pass uh, met.e which is the error number and pass w's it seems that it expects numpy as input that's why here i'm going to call import numpy as mp and here numpy dot array and pass w as input let's see the feature importance data frame here i can actually sort the values of this feature importance data frame feature importance dot sort values by its importance column as seen uh, the petal width uh, feature is the most important feature among others and uh, petal length comes after it i can set the ascending value to false to sort uh, from largest to smallest so we have mentioned the feature importance concept in logistic regression algorithm a feature is as important as uh, e to the power of its uh, coefficient in the logistic regression equation thank you for uh, watching and see you next time